okay class so today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter number three fiber to fabric so in class six you have learned about some fibers obtained from plants you have also learned about wool and silk fibers and how they are obtained from the respective animals wool is obtained from the fleece that is the hair of sheep or yak silk fibers come from cocoons of silk moth so class in this video lecture i will be explaining you about firstly the wool so wool comes from sheep goat yak and some other animals these wool yielding animals bear hair on their body now they have a lot of wool that we can take for our usage so like us the hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fiber that forms it fleece fleece means the hair of the sheep or the wool so the number one is the coarse beard hair and the number two is the fine soft under hair close to the skin so the fine hair provide the fibers of making wool some breeds of sheep possesses only fine under hair their parents are specially chosen to give birth to sheep which have only soft under hair this process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offsprings such as soft under hair in sheep is termed as selective breeding now class we will go into a bit more detail about the animals that yield wool so several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of our country however the fleece of sheep is not the only source of wool though wool commonly available in the market is sheep wool yak wool is also common in tibet and ladakh angora wool is obtained from angora goats found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir wool is also obtained from goat hair the under fur of kashmiri goat is soft it is woven into fine shawls called pashmina shawls the fur hair on the body of camels is also used as wool lalama and alpaca found in south america also yield wool now these are some pictures class of those animals from where we get wool okay so now class we will know about the processing of fibers into wool okay so the wool which is used for knitting sweaters or for weaving shawls is finished product of a long process which involves the following steps as you can see in the slide so step number 1 the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body this process is called shearing machines similar to those used by barbers are used to shave off hair usually hair are removed during the hot weather this enables sheep to survive without their protective coat of hair the hair provide woolen fibers woolen fibers are then processed to obtain woolen yarn or the wool thread shearing does not hurt the sheep just as it does not hurt when we get a haircut the uppermost layer of the skin is dead also the hair of sheep grows again just as our hair now coming to the step 2 the sheared skin with hair is thoroughly washed in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt this is called scouring nowadays scouring is done by machines now coming to the step number 3 after scouring sorting is done the hairy skin is sent to a factory where the hair of different textures are separated or sorted 
now then we will follow the step number four the small fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair these are the same burrs which sometimes appear on your sweaters the fibers are scored again and dried this is the wool ready to be drawn into fibers the fibers can be dyed in various colors as the natural fleece of sheep and goat is black brown or white now step number six the fiber are straightened combed and rolled into yarn the longer fiber are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fiber are spun and woven into clothes so class as you can see all of them step by step how the process is going on along with the diagrams this is how we convert a fiber into wool that is ready to be knitted into your clothes like sweaters i hope that all of you have understood it well class that's all for today's class thank you class